guys, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit in this video about respiratory control and how it relates to holding your breath and why you can't harm yourself by doing so. Uh, so first off, in this case, it's important to note that the young boy is not going to be able to harm himself by holding his breath. Now, he thinks that he can, but he's actually unable to. And the short answer as to why, which I'm going to explain more in detail later, um, is that an involuntary mechanism will take over, causing him to breathe. Now, voluntarily holding your breath does not stop the central respiratory rhythm. Rather, it suppresses its expression. So, this is because holding the breath suppresses the expression by holding the chest at a certain volume. Uh, so, if you try and hold your breath right now, uh, go ahead and try it, you'll notice this. And you can kind of feel the muscles of your chest uh, tightening and flexing, um, and the volume of the air uh, in the lungs doesn't change. Um, however, uh, you would not be able to hold your breath to the point where you die from lack of oxygen. Um, so there's these carotid arterial chemoreceptors, which are activated by the partial pressures of blood gases. Uh, we kind of learned about partial pressures this week when you know we discussed uh, gas exchange. So these receptors are peripheral sensory neurons that actively detect a change in chemical concentrations. And in this case, they detect low oxygen, which is also known as hypoxia, and high carbon dioxide, which is hypercapnia. So hypoxia and hypercapnia are indicators of holding the breath and are both detected by carotid arterial chemoreceptors. Um, after detection, chemoreceptors will send a nerve impulse to the vasomotor center in the medulla. Now, this will override the conscious breathing or holding the breath consciously um, so that oxygen can be inhaled and carbon dioxide can be released. Now, I think if, uh, if in some cases where, where people uh, are drowning, um, we'll notice that water is in their lungs uh, when they're discovered and this is because you know these chemoreceptors are going to recognize the you know low oxygen levels of the blood and the high carbon dioxide levels of the blood and they're going to trigger an inhalation when and when that happens you know we we suck in uh, water instead of air all right thanks guys